Welcome. Hello, everybody. In this episode, we're gonna learn how to create the camera, similarly to Super Mario, where you can run and it goes forward, but you can go back, and and you have a tongue. Let's see how it works. So before we start building anything, I'm gonna show you how Mario works. So I got this re request from uh, a user called Glyn. 3700 he asked me to make something like Super Mario so if all you remember Super Mario has this fixed camera which you can't go left you can only go right and it doesn't go back it sounds simple but also simple to implement so I'm gonna implement the same mechanic where when, whatever you cross let's say the half of the screen the camera moves along but then when you go back, it's not possible to, you know, revert back to that same place. And also there's an invisible collider, which doesn't allow you to go back. So that's for Super Mario. What I did, I created a new level without all the enemies, with only, you know, a linear level. Just basic colliders here. And front and end. I deleted my camera script because I need to add a new one. I didn't want to modify the old one because it's going to have some different variables. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new script. Call it Super Mario Camera Follow. And we're going to make it slightly easier. Instead of writing the whole script from scratch, we're going to, let me just put this here. We can just copy and paste the old one. So that one is called uh, camera follow. Let's copy and paste everything. And make sure to change the name here to Super Mario. So everything that contains camera follow, I have to change it to Super Mario. Same thing goes here. And this one should be camera Super Mario camera follow editor script. Super Mario camera follow. What's next, next, next? Bip, 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 bip. Here, also here. That's amazing. So we have our script ready, and this one is going to act the same as the old one does, but we don't need it. We need to first limit the uh, the X movement to only increase, and also build the uh, invisible collider on the left side. Let's drag and drop, and let's drag and drop the player, and make sure that, uh, let's keep this as 5 for now, because I can see the camera is too clamped in Mario, so I'm not going to make it too elastic. Let's set up the, the boundaries, I think this will be good for the minimum, let's go on the most right, yep, this is for maximum, so now we have the camera here. Let's try to make the same positions in here. Like I think it was like this. It's fine. We have it here. Minus 7, 0.41 and 4. So, first thing I need to do is I need to make sure that I have an invisible collider. And the the base the most basic way to implement this is to add a collider on the left top edge of the screen as a child of the camera. So let's add this game object of sprite. Honestly, we don't need sprite, we just need collider. 2D collider. And uh, you can switch the view mode to wireframe so you can see all the stuff. Let's increase the, the Y to 15 so I have it stretched in the Y axis. Let's zero out the Y so it's in the middle. So there's no way of making it dynamic at the moment. This is the more rigid way of implementing it because some of the people might have a 7 or eight size of camera, mine is six. So if it's bigger, just increase this to the left side and it's stuck to the camera. And call this left collider. So let's add it slightly more here. We have it done. We revert back to, you can go to shaded or shaded wireframe. I like the shaded wireframe. It's much easier for me. So with this one, we can make sure that the camera has a left collider so we can go over it 
Uh, next thing we need to do is we need to apply the Super Mario mechanics. It's quite simple. We need to implement an if statement for the follow. So right now we can f we follow the player all of the time, all the time. If it's jumping, going left and right, whatever. Right now we have to make sure that whenever the player reaches in the middle, we move the camera to the right. But then we prevent it from going to left. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get the position of the player in comparison to the viewport. So the camera has a viewport position, which means, let me show it to you. So this is the view of the camera. And we have the X and Y starts from, from the bottom left. And they go from 0 to 1 and then from 0 to 1. So we need to figure out if the camera, the player reaches 0 0.5, which is the middle, or more. So uh, let's get it put it here. And for this, we have a script called, uh, first of all, we have to access the main camera. So we can either link the camera, you can get component camera, but you can also get camera.main. And you have to convert from world to viewport. World to viewport. This also gives you back a Victor 3, but then we have to imp input a position. The position will be the players, and the player we have it named as target. So we go target that transform that position. So this one will give us a Victor 3. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna call it. Uh, uh, let's call it player x position. Actually, I, I need to get full thing the player position player view port position so we get this value and uh, let me debug it so we can see how what I mean by this player Here we go and let's stop the follow because I don't want the camera to move okay let it load Here we go load it let's give it a test you'll see here we're gonna get a victor 3 right now let me collapse it it's easier so right now we have 0 0.2 0 0.2 and 10 let's ignore the X and, uh, let's ignore the, the Y and Z because we need the X and position which is 0.2 so you can see it's 0 0.2, 0 0.2, now it's go left, it's 0 0.1, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, and until we reach almost 1. Here we go. So we need to, need to make sure that we, we get the x value. So let's go here, if player the position dot x bigger equals 0 0.5, then we do something in here. I'll show you what, what it means. So if, if we track the x value, we'll see that we only get the first parameter of the vector, in which we need to capture whenever we get it over or equals to 0.5. So you see now it's, it's increasing slightly, and now we reach the middle of the screen. So let's go. We need to uncomment this and put it inside here. So what this means, this means we will follow the player only when we reach this point. As a first step, it's the correct one, but we need to add more restrictions. You'll see why. Right now, the camera is not moving. As soon as we reach the middle of the screen, it's going to start to follow us. See, that's fine. But then, if we go back, sometimes it's going to go, but not all the time. So that's good. So if we run left and back, we still have no problems. But and we need to add some sort of a, like you know, a double check for the x value. So right now we have the minimum value for the boundary of the camera is minus 7.41, which means the camera doesn't go over this value. But in some weird cases, it might follow you. If, if you have this high, probably, so you will always stay in the uh, in the middle of the screen, which means 
camera might always follow you. Right now it's quite difficult to happen because uh, the player is passing the value. So if you put this as, let's say, 0.3, it's going to become difficult to go back. Because the camera keeps following the player, and then whenever the player goes to the left, it's going to go with him. So he's always away from the middle of the screen. You see? It's not going to work properly if you go, if you go be beyond less than half. So now we can go back and forth, which we don't need. But still, we can we can implement something that keeps this dynamic as long uh, as much as we have, and also not let the camera go left. What we need to do, we need to play with the minimum x value. So right now it's minus seven point four one. Whenever we move the camera to the right, we have to increase this value along with it to just allow it from going to the left which what i mean is like right now it's 7.41 if it moves forward we have to increase it similarly like if we, if we reach 0 0.85 we have to make it 0 0.85 so it will not go left anymore and to do this we need to add a line at the end of follow and modify the final value which is smooth smooth position the one that we set to the position itself into the minimum value so minimum value dot x equals this smooth position dot x let me show you what it does so right now if you look at the bottom right we can see that it's minus 7.41 but the, the second it moves right it's gonna change let's see here we go you see it's applying the same to the value that we have here. So with this one, we don't have any issue going back. Even if we have, if we if put it 0.2 or 0.1 or 0.3, same as we do here. Let's see, let's put it 0.3. <clears throat> and uh, let's play. So right now, it's 7.41. And if, uh, as soon as we reach the th first third of the screen, it moves. But before we had this issue where it it goes back with us. Now it does not, which is amazing. Now we jump over the cliffs. Boom. So yes, this will help us get our Super Mario. Let's make this more dynamic. Let's have this here, public float. Let's call it... Uh, move camera trigger value and let's have it as a slider we need because the viewport has a value of 0 to 1 and let's make sure it's yeah let's keep it here it's fine and let's add it in here and go back can play with the value from the inspector. Um, I put this as 10, which is too rig too rigid. Let's put, it fi let's put it as 5. Put this as 0.2. And you see that 0 0.2 will move us like uh, really close to the left side. It's going to follow us. Oh no, actually, I think I mistaked something here. Let's debug the value. Let's go. Sorry. So now we're debugging the position of the player according to the viewport. Right now he's standing here. He's 0.2, which is correct. 0.1, amazing. And uh, yeah, the the whole mechanic was fine. It's just uh, the camera has a boundary, so it only works on the middle. Because <clears throat> let me show you. So let's have a debug value log. We add something here x. So whenever x is called, that means we're following it, player. We have to play with the offset here. So right now the offset is zero zero means to play the camera 
if we have no boundaries, the camera will always be in zero. So you have to make sure that. Let me show you right now. If we move the player to the right side, it's going to follow the player, but it's going to focus on the player. Like right now, it's moving, but it's not moving to the right. Why? Because there's a boundary on the left side. So we need to make sure that even with the boundary on the left side, we have to move camera to the right. So we have to increase the offset of the camera slightly more just to make sure that the camera moves like this. So if you add the offset as five, would be I think will be enough, maybe four. It's all depending on the camera stuff. So if you get the player, like focus on target. So here we go. We're focused on the target. If we move move it to the right, that will be probably my optimal position. You see that right now the player is minus three thirteen point three. So if I move it to the right side, I want the camera to be always like this. So when it's always like this, that means I offset the camera even if the player is on the left side. So a bit complex but easy. Let's make this as 5. Keep it as 5 so we don't have to worry about other values. If you have a bigger size of the camera, increase it probably more. But this will do. So right now let's keep this as 0.3 and just keep it as 5. And play the whole camera. So if you move, oh by the way, you have to make sure that it's set at the first frame. So what we can do here, we can probably call the follow in case if you if you don't put the uh, camera in the proper place. We just need to call the follow script once, which I think is not necessary if you want to do it manually. It's much easier. I get this boundary, minus 7.41 and 4. Here we go. So we start, and then we start moving. Moves forward. Go back. We can hit the wall, we can jump, and... In. And the end, reach the wall, we hit the wall, and that's it. We run our level. With this, we have created a Super Mario clone camera, a very simple one. Of course, you can enhance it with uh, playing with the offsets, speed of the camera, the size of the orthographic camera. But apart from this, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please hit the like and subscribe and join us on Discord. And keep the feedback coming because that's the way we go forward. Thank you everybody for watching and have a nice one. Bye bye.